Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Science Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and for the past however long, we've been trying to build this rocket up right here so that we can get out to the star map and expand our sphere of influence. Right now, we are colonized Reverslin and Pyaxlin, and I would like to move over to Blagolia so we can start getting our hands on some tasty, tasty metals. To that end, I have building, been building the inside of this rocket over here, and I have been trying, trying so hard to be able to make this mess hall into a great hall. It has unfortunately not been happening and I'm going to have to give up because there is another reason that I need to explain to you. But first, let's just talk about this quickly. Look, I've got an actual full bedroom here. We've got a, a nice comfy bed, including the uh, the rocket control station. We've got a washroom and we've got ourselves the mess hall that is big enough to be the great hall. Unfortunately, I am missing a recreation building and a decor item that is good enough, but I, I'm just going to have to give up because over on reverse in our original asteroid, we've now got three duplicates living here. Yes, that's right. When we last left, we only had two. We had Rutherford and I think my mouse sensitivity has turned down. Uh, we had Rutherford and we had Boar. But now look at this little guy. We've got ourselves a Hubble. He is at the operator that we have been looking for the entire time that I've been playing all of like the past three or four episodes. Uh, I'm going to come into the skills here because I've noticed that Hubble is not wearing a hat. Here's our Tinkerer. If we actually look at our skills that are available to him, he loves to do so much stuff. But we're going to be making him a mechatronics engineer eventually first he just needs to learn all of the operating skills but that hey welcome hubble that's that's what we're here to do okay over on pyaxlin this ast this um rocket right here it, both the rovers modules are completely loaded up they've got uh, rovers landers and a rover on board of uh, both of them here and indeed all we really need to do is change our crew to goddard that's good the, the crew is goddard uh, i need to look inside because i've just realized we we need to put food in the fridge <laughs> That's unfortunately going to take a little bit of time. Uh, something I want to see whether I can do or not whilst we're uh, just waiting around. I think it's in the stations. We've got the orbital collection data. Can I just pop that there? Is that a thing? That's not a thing I can do. Unfortunately, I cannot replace this top uh, pneumatic door with a, uh, a tile. This is the exact si size of room we need. This is the exact size of room we need. And this is the exact size of room we need. Meaning there's, there's no way of getting up and down without it. Mm. You know what, with a small rearrangement, maybe we can make it happen. I've put some plastic ladders in here, a metal tile and a plastic tile instead. I would also like to get some sort of dispenser. Let's see if we can get this. The automatic dispenser, turn it around because I'm not looking to drop things in the toilet. I am, however, looking to drop things under this door here. Oh, that Hubble already proving his worth here. Making the steel. That's exactly what we're after. Maxwell, though, taking a long time to dig. This uh, dispenser has been made. Some manufactured material and plastic. Let's just be like, hey, can people panic about that for a second? We'll just get maybe a ton dropped off. I kind of would have liked the orbital collection day to carry on being built, though. Oh, well. Talking about Hubble paying for himself, though, I am a little bit worried that we are going to run out of food. We do have a lot of barbecue over here, but uh, we are limited by the amount of igneous rock that comes down through this magma collection device here. They're almost ready, almost ready. Uh, we also have a second volcano source here, so maybe we've got enough to keep us ticking over. We'll just have to keep an eye on the calories. How about inside? We've got ourselves how much plastic here? That's uh, near enough two tons. Okay, I'll I will take that. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Let's uh, turn this off now. Food, though. Where's the food? Oh, look. We can keep the dispenser and the washroom. Okay, that's that's very nice. That's very, very nice. We could technically split this uh, mess hall off. It only needs to be 12 tiles big. And as this is three by four, we could literally draw a line across here and have the orbital, uh, delay, uh, orbital collection data as its own separate room. But it doesn't affect things, so I think we're okay. Okay, with a little bit of food being dropped off, indeed 51,000 calories is more than enough to get going. I'm going to change our destination. No rocket platform, so we can only go to orbit over there. And hopefully now we've got it so that only the crew are allowed in aside as well. We'll just wait. Uh, we'll turn the, the restrictions onto grounded as well. We don't want people using all the stuff in here. I don't have any water. We, we need to pump water in here before we go anywhere. That, that That's the thing we need to make sure. If there's no water, then we can't run the toilets. And if we're not running the toilet, well, our duplicates just aren't going to be comfortable, are they? And if there's one thing I do like to make sure is that my duplicates are mostly comfortable. Well, it took all day, 
as you can tell, but we finally got the rocket fueled up and just about ready to go. We've got a little bit of gas in the canister here, but more importantly, we have uh, water in the tank and gas in the actual room. A little unfortunate we've already got carbon dioxide on the bottom here, but I think we'll be fine with that. If we could change back to the crew, unfortunately I had to change to all to get everything built out here, and then crew to get Goddard back inside. Let's change our rover's destination. It is actually ready to go. If we come out to our main screen, we should be able to click on this and go acknowledge warning please send us off to our next big adventure let's see if this actually does exactly as i would expect it to why are we not launching what's 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 the hold up here let's slow down the game and see i've acknowledged the warnings i've begun the launch sequence maybe i didn't hit the second one let's let it roll okay we got some idle Someone's someone's already a Goddard's idol. Maybe uh, lacking the. Oh, what have we melted already? We've already melted some cobalt. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, maybe we are lacking the ability of Goddard to do the orbital research. Maybe maybe not. I will go and look into that particular issue. But away they go onto the star map. They're flying. It's going to take 1.2 cycles. That's all right. Okay, it turns out I didn't actually melt any wire. I'm not sure where this cobalt came from. Okay, that, 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 that's okay. Could be worse. Maybe whilst we wait for that flight to be undertaken, we might send uh, Plank back out. I do believe we've got nothing inside our containers here. Yeah, let, let's do it. Let's. Uh, we've got food ready to go. Waiting for the pilot to board. We're going to change our destination to be the ore field. That's a three. I wonder if I can. A five out of eight. That means I'm not making a return trip from there. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do a three out of eight. Seems like the safe way to move after all. We're gonna acknowledge the warnings that we haven't got the, uh, the gas canister completely full, and we're gonna begin our launch sequence. Two rocket launches in one day. Uh, let's go. We also need to try and do something with this artifact that we've got down at the bottom here. It says it's an entombed artifact, but I think we're okay with that. Maybe we'll stick a pedestal up somewhere. I'm surprised we haven't, don't destroy these ladders as the rocket takes off here. Okay, beautiful. Two rockets on the screen at once. I am overwhelmed. Overwhelmed furniture pedestal let's pop this down here next to the kitchen see if uh curie's gonna get straight onto that where is she can we can we follow her around for this follow that can be beautiful thank you very much uh more importantly i want to know what happens when the pedestal is finished i need to make a selection of what item's going to be going on there and i believe oh look we could put all sorts of stuff on here but the mo more important one that i want to put on here is somewhere where do, where do we keep our artifact there's a long 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 list of stuff here we can put hatch eggs on there there we go the bio luminescent stone we're going to select that i don't know who's making the delivery let's uh let's make it curie shall we beautiful Kiri, of course, about to have a bit of a very interesting day. Right now, she's very uh, happy living on Pyaxlin, but she's the only one with major build and dig skills. So when it comes to taking over the new place that we're going to take over, uh, sorry, not, not reversing this this one, we're going to end up having to put her into this rocket and send her over when the robots have done their job. Okay, skills for Goddard. He does not know how to do the astronomy skill yet so let's just give him these two i don't know whether that's all he needs but hopefully he can now make use of the orbital collection lab because he wasn't this this whole day uh, we'll, we'll find out errands not allowed by schedule that's better than unskilled we'll find out nice bedroom though really nice bedroom i like that you know what else i'm gonna do i'm gonna suppress all those notifications like so, some of these are just not what i need to know about body temperature though it's hot in here I didn't realize we'll have to start preconditioning the oxygen that goes in. Let's uh, let's press F7. What are we getting out here? 27 degrees. Yeah, maybe we could cool this area down here. Maybe bring the temperature of the oxygen down to 15, 20 degrees. That that would be nice. Do we have? Do we have? We do have cool liquids here. Could we jump it up over and cool down? Okay, kind of messy, but I've put the loop in. Let's wait for it to get built so I can then connect it up and maybe try and get some extra water in there. Okay, that's the last of the building done. Let's do a little bit of a diversion here. Pull that one up like so and make a little cut there. We'll then want to take those down and try and figure out how we can get extra water into the system. It looks like the best place to get extra water into the system will be right here. Uh, no, all right, maybe I was wrong. How about right here? Will, will this let water in the system? No, that doesn't let water in the system either. I don't know how to get water into this system. 
Okay, I found a place to do it. It was right here. Why that worked in other places didn't? Oh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, we've still got a big gap there. We'll, we'll wait for that big gap to come around and I will show you. I wonder if I can do it here, actually. Go B, I've got to go towards the inlet. Is that the way to go? Okay, so what happens if we go to the outlet instead? Does that make it flow from there? Oh, I, I closed the window. Lol. Uh, no, that doesn't make it flow either. Why is it specifically here then? Yeah, look, this now splits it. I, I I, don't understand. I'm sure there's some logic there somewhere, but I, I can't figure it out. <laughs> well, anyway, after some tweaking, we have a fully chilled out little area here. The water going through is pretty warm at the moment, but that's exactly what this machine is for, turning 20 degree water into 7 degree water. Uh, and that should then be... Yeah, there we go, cooling this all down beautifully, which means if we press this F3 button... Oh, look, it's changing colour. Great. What about the gas inside, though? That's the real question. 33.6. Is that higher or lower than we last looked? Let's try and remember that, and we'll look later. <laughs> anyway, we have a rocket in orbit. Uh, I want to deploy. Okay, great. Where are we going to deploy these two rover modules to? I feel like down here might be some of the best placements. Uh, will it not let... Yeah, here maybe, and then we can dig down and in. Uh, can we drop two in the same spot? That that would be nice, but it looks like maybe not. Maybe one there and one there. I don't... I kind of feel like up there is a bad idea. Or we go for this little side area over here and dig inside. I think, I think this might be the winner, though. I don't know what materials. Sedimentary rock, cobalt, polluted Dirt. I don't know if it can get through all of these. I'm gonna make a save. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna because I do not know, I'm going to perform an experiment. We're just we're just gonna land two of them over here and, and figure it out. So rocket in orbit. I can't I can't select it from here. Okay, fair enough. Uh, so we come out to the rocket in orbit. We hit deploy. Uh, I'm gonna do both of them over here and maybe like yeah, let's let's put them over this side and then we'll dig in. Is that, is that both? Is that both? Sorry, I just deployed both of them. We'll dig in sideways. So here comes one. Okay, where's the other one? I'm fairly sure I asked for the other one to be dropped down as well. Okay, let's stop and see if if it was my mistake. It probably, probably was. It normally is. <laughs> okay, got both of them? Question mark? I think so. Let's let's have a look. Okay, there, there we go. All right, you, Rover. Hello, how are you doing? Um, d Dig. This, this is it. This is where we go, and I... I think you're gonna be fine. We're gonna go uh, let the puffs out. I would obviously feel a lot better if we had a door, but I think we can live. It, where, where's the the next? Um, um, is my rover about to get melted? Please, Mr. Mr. Rover. Uh, I can't even move you. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. He, he walked. That, that might be good, might not be. Who knows? Who knows? So we can um, deconstruct this and deconstruct this. Let's uh, let's get some materials out of here, shall we? I might even flatten this off after we've done that. And then hopefully we can build a rocket pad. And then that we can start thinking about some infrastructure then and, and things like that. Look, random bit of abyssalite floating in the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's, let's uh, also take a moment here, see what we've got. We've got puffs, we've got dust caps. I mean, getting the mushrooms being cooked again would be quite nice. The mushrooms are, they, they feed off of just carbon dioxide, if I remember correctly. Oh, we need some slime as well, which uh, with the puffs and all of this slime and stuff around, uh, that's great. We, we, can, we can make ourselves loads of that. But we've got ourselves some steel there, some steel there. So if I come to to the where are we rockets and go rocket platform <sighs> that's it that's what we're doing ah oh, duplicate required duplicate required okay well it looks like we're going to need to trailblaze this but that's fine that's fine the materials have been put in place anyway okay so note to self next time we want a rover and a duplicate Hmm, can't put an insulated tile in, hey? What about an airflow tile? Yeah, you can build an airflow tile. That's totally not what I want. I just want to know what you can. How about a mesh tile? Can you build mesh tiles? You can build mesh tiles. Okay. Why not the insulated tile? Why, why everything other than the insulated tile? Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna stop the escape of gases. I know the rovers just don't care, but I kind of do. Oh, also F9. Uh, okay, let's see if we can do something about the state of the floor as well, because slime lung. It's nasty stuff. Let's try and let's try and avoid it. It's it's not that nasty. If I'm if I'm to be honest with you, out of all the diseases that we have to deal with, uh, it's it's not the worst. Uh, I'm gonna leave this buddy bud stood up like this. All right, good. Oh, thimble reed. Finally, actual natural thimble reed. <laughs> I love these little guys going around doing their jobs. Okay, I, I guess we're just just digging and seeing what we can find. I, I see no nothing for these guys to do other than a little bit of exploration at the moment. Uh, we'll try and make this as uh, 
duplicate friendly as possible. I'm a little bit worried about him getting stuck up there, but uh, that should be fine. I'd like to know whether these guys can go back up a too high slope or not. I mean, we could easily... I mean, he did just jump up there, didn't he? Uh, we can easily take this block out if need be, but we'll, we'll see if we can not. Okay, I found my first geyser on the floor here. I think if I remember correctly, these guys are not going to be able to dig that because you need super duper digging. That's, that's fine, that's fine, but at least we've found access to... Uh, should we cheat? I think we're going to cheat. I'm going to come along here. I'm going to press zero. This is a way of cheating, by the way. You set the... Oh, is there nothing under there? Is it busted? Is it broken? No, look, look. There's a, there's a, there's a something there, I think. Have they finally... Have they finally patched it? Has it actually finally happened? Have they turned it... Wait. Wait, let's go to all. No, they didn't finally patch it. It was my bad. <laughs> Okay, so you, you you get this little five up by going all. You select the top top notch priority, and then you ho hover over and go. Oh, it's a hydrogen vent. I mean, that's that's all right, but it's not quite what I want. <laughs> Looking for any serious metal vents right now. Um, ideally, gold. I think would be pretty pretty good. I, I I could definitely get down with a bit of gold. Um, let's actually cancel that one and that one. We'll, we'll build stairs going up. This is unreachable. Why is this? Up? Because we've got all this abyssal light here. How how about if I start putting some tiles in place instead? Something like that. Would, would, would that work? Are you able to do this? I think you're able to do this. Okay, great. Can I can I follow these guys around? I can. Oh, do we get to name them? We don't get to name them. That's, that, that's a bit more of a shame. That is a big shame. Okay, second vent almost immediately. Let's uh, let's do that and go. A uh, gold volcano. Oh, be beautiful. Beautiful. They're very close together. I don't know what we're going to do about that. <laughs> but also really close to the surface. So if I'm looking to uh, condense my gold, fire it into space, that, that's, that's a really quick thing. And then we can make it all hydrogen powered. That's actually pretty smart. Okay, I like that. So next thing I wanna know, can we put a bunch of ladders down like so? And will then the rovers be able to dig underneath and escape? I might need to replace these ladders with um, with solid tiles so they can go up and down, but I can I just want to dig down and see what else is available to us on this asteroid, and maybe dig across all the top layer. <laughs> mm, plug slug. We we got to try and make sure this plug slug stays in here. If not, he will come out and start eating all the random bits of metal, or well, the gold, uh, the metal ores that we've got lying around. And uh, uh, honestly, I like keeping hold of my metal ores. They kind of kind of handy. We're not going to be able to escape this way. I was I was just about to try and start digging up here, but look, we can't we can't go through the abyssalite. Okay, there is a little no 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 no. We can't really go that way. Maybe we can go down. No, we can't go down either. Mm, okay, I might be seeing a small surface expedition being called out. We, this abyssalite comes down. It is interrupted by the gold volcano, but we can't dig through that. It comes down across this way underneath and creates a, a permanent floor. Okay, we're going to have to start thinking about how we're going to go up and over the top. How, how does how does the robot go up there? Let, 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 let's, let's worry about that, shall we? Yeah, there's abyssalite everywhere. I can't even dig down this way like I was hoping to. That's, that's a shame. Uh, what is this guy going to do, though? What is this guy going to do? <laughs> T turn around. Okay, that's, that's fair enough. But whilst we watch these two little robots go across the top of our asteroid here and explore everything there is to see, I'd like to thank the people that helped me explore everything there is to see in my life. That's right, my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. That's right, a list of names of people who have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallet to make sure me and my channel can continue on into the future. They went along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy, made a monthly donation to which I, I'm able to keep the computer running. Isn't that amazing? Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, we've nearly made it all the way to the other side of the map. Made quite a little expedition across the top here. Looking pretty good. This is the line of abyss light that we couldn't get through, so we're definitely going to be able to get down to some nice stuff here. There's a little um, gravitas building down here, so let's see if we can go, can't get down to that. Let's see. I think we just want to carry on this way. Where else are we going to go, really? Okay, we've got a filing cabinet, a pedestal with something, with a honey jar on top of it. Okay, that that's something different. I've never found an artifact out in the wild like this. That's that's interesting. I normally have to get them from space. 
Okay, that is the whole of the top exposed for us now as well. That's that's pretty good. So we got we got an idea of how wide our asteroid is. That's that's good. That's about this wide. That's we can live with that. I think we can also get through this little bit of abyssalite if we just kind of make it through the pug slug chamber here. I, I I'm super worried about that. Obviously, we're gonna have to put up a door and keep them on one side of it all. But that shouldn't be too bad. And we can also go through the bottom of the Gravitas building. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll deconstruct some, some floor tiles. Okay, end of another day of exploring. Turns out they're not very... Oh, can the rover not climb up these? That that would be pretty bad if it can't. I would kind of like it to be able to climb up the ladders as well as going down. Um, I'm not I'm not sure if we can get it up there. I was kind of hoping this switchback ladder situation would enable them to jump, jump, jump. But we'll... Uh, We'll find out. We might end up just flooding everywhere in, in a second because that'll be the only thing we can do. Like, if I ask for this to be built there, is someone... Yeah, they can go up, so why are they not... Why are they not using that? This guy just wants to drown. Okay, I, I suppose that's... That's fine. <laughs> okay, let's destroy the underfloor of these things. Hopefully the pedestal won't just fall apart and the duplicates will be able to come and have a look at this in a little bit. But then we can just carry on digging down because... That's that's what I'm after. I'm looking around. Oh, what is this over here? Oh, it's a sleeping pug, pug plug slug. I keep calling them pug slugs rather than plug slugs. I mean, that drop of the nail. It's important. Okay, let's try this again. If I go ladder, 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 are we going to be able to, like, make our way there and back again? Okay, here comes our next layer of abyssalite. I suppose after our rovers have dug down this little shaft here, we'll just kind of follow along this layer and see how far we can get. I don't like the fact that I can see it there as well. I hope, hope we're not hemmed in again. I'm going to need to try and get Curie down here much sooner than I thought. Well, it became the end of the line down here for the rovers. There's absolutely no way of getting through this abyssalite, but we have found many, many things. Hydrogen vent, gold vent down here. We've got a cobalt volcano. This one here is an aluminium, a natural gas geyser. There is another natural gas geyser. We're definitely going to be coming over here and making a good use of the area. I also corrected this door so I wasn't losing the gases to the outside. I don't know why I put that like that. But over on Pyaxlin, the... Uh, uh, the rocket has returned and the Trailblazer module is being installed inside of the Spacefarer module. We have got a ladder bed being put in place. It says it's missing a tile. Then I must be misunderstanding how that is used. I think we sacrificed, yeah, the uh, the Great Hall for that. But uh, not the Great Hall, the Mess Hall for that. But we're, we're only going for a single trip over. That's right. I'm going to be putting Curie on board as well so we could take her over to Bug... Blagola? I'm going to go with Blagola. Uh, but I'm afraid that is all the time that I have for today. And I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we will be sending Curie over here to take care of all these beautiful, beautiful gold volcanoes we've got so we can get some sustainable, full-blown metals. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.